you know, this black power form was just, I mean, it just opened up uh, a whole new thought and mind, uh, you know, for the uh, black students at UNCG. And not everybody got involved in the movement, I'll put it that way. Not everyone got involved, but um, almost all of the black students were interested in forming a black student organization on campus. This was the time when the black student unions were being formed at predominantly white universities. It was a uh, phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so UNCG, at, here at UNCG, we uh, became a part of that phenomenon. And uh, the idea to, to have a black students organization uh, came in part from the fact that students at other predominantly white universities were doing this. So um, we um, had the Black Power Forum and uh, then uh, some other things happened. Uh, the cafeteria workers uh, went on strike that year and uh, quite a few of the cafeteria workers were students from a and mm -hmm. And uh, so there was that link, you know, the, the students from a and and the black students here. And so we became kind of more united with the black students, well, the cafeteria workers, than with our university. Okay, and so we uh, supported the cafeteria workers' strike. We did marches and sit-ins and sit-downs at the administration building and things like that in support of the uh, cafeteria workers' strike. Uh, some of the students from a and some of the cafeteria worker students from a and were at the negotiating table you know, for mm -hmm. the cafeteria workers and where they had been coming on, t you know, you had seen them in their white, you know, cafeteria workers uniform. They had on suits with briefcases and it was just kind of fun, you know, that was, that was pretty, you know, it's just pretty fun to, you know, see that transformation and it was uh, just simply exhilarating to be a part of this movement. And um, so anyway, there, and, and, and I, um, and, and I'm among the group of black students at that time who really saw the black movement as more my ambition, you know, than academics. Right. Okay. Yeah, there were some of us who did, mm -hmm. <laughs> who, who went that way. And, um began to, uh, you know, meet with uh, the, 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 the students from a and and Bennett out in the city and to do, um, su w you know, work in, you know, s supportive activities uh, that they were also involved in. And, you know, black Organizations uh, grew up in, in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, the uh, Greensboro Association of Poor People, the uh, Students Organized for Black Unity. Uh, these organizations grew up in North Carolina, uh, in Greensboro. And I and some other, you know, I, I guess about maybe 20 or 30 black students really gravitated towards that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that um, that that's how that developed. Uh, on campus, we um, we uh, struggled for a Black History class, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was it was our efforts. Uh, I won't say the Neo Black Society per se that uh, was, you know, like uh, going after this black history class, trying to remember the form that that took. 
uh, I know uh, it was, uh, but it was a black student-led movement for this and petitioning the uh, university, you know, uh, it wasn't really hard to get it.